Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jessica Moore. And I'm Dick Brennan. Christina Maurice are off. On this Memorial Day, landmarks across New York City are lit up in red, white, and blue in honor of those who paid with their lives to protect our country. Today is the first holiday where many people were able to be maskless and mark the day in person since the pandemic began. CBS 2's Jessica Layton joins us live at the Intrepid on the West Side. Jessica. Well, Dick and Jessica, as you just mentioned, so many of our traditions that were put on pause because of the pandemic were back in person today. These beautiful tributes, beautiful ceremonies to honor the heroes who did not get to come home. As the late afternoon sun shined down on the intrepid, the sacrifice of so many service men and women was in the spotlight for families like the Rosenbergs who visited the museum to remember. I'm so grateful that we get to live here. Just I hope that they they appreciate everything that went into getting this country to where it is today. Earlier, the somber echo of taps, the laying of the memorial wreaths, and the unfurling of the American flag all served as sobering reminders of those lost. A lot of the past uh, people sacrificed, uh, including my brother who served in Vietnam. Um, he was fortunate enough to come home, but he was never the same. We've heard so many times that freedom comes at a cost, and the receipt of that pain can be seen at the cemeteries that hold the remains of our heroes. It's a lesson that Joshua Belforder has grasped at only eight years old, marking 200 grave sites with tiny American flags. To honor all the men and women who sacrificed their lives. The New York Philharmonic's Memorial Day concert, canceled last year because of COVID, was enjoyed by hundreds both inside and on the lawn at the Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine. And freedom rang out in Freehold, New Jersey. <laughs> Veterans and civilians came out in force this year to honor the armed forces and salute those who paid with their lives. A feeling of gratitude and patriotism that will be passed on for generations. My mom would take my children and now I'm taking my grandchild. There are a lot of people, young people, who served and never came home. And so we have to remember these people. And the ceremony here at the Intrepid was only open to a limited number of guests because of the COVID restrictions that do remain in place. Several of the other events we showed you also had a virtual option for those who wanted to pay tribute but aren't quite ready to be in those big crowds yet. Reporting live from the West Side tonight, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.